Yo, what's up guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be talking about the Crew 3 Motorfest. And as always, like and subscribe, because the CEO of YouTube has my dog held captive. And he said I can't get him back until I reach 1,000 subscribers. But anyway, let's get into the video. Ubisoft have announced a new title in its expensive racing series, The Crew. But this game has been named Motorfest. The game should be out this year, and looks a lot like it's taking some cues from the Forza Horizon series. We've got all the key details you need to know about the Crew Motorfest right here, so keep watching to find out more about what it'll offer and when it'll come out and more. The Crew Motorfest doesn't have an exact release date yet, but its debut trailer does end with the information that it'll be out sometime in 2023. While that doesn't give you a whole lot to work with, at least we know that it's coming soon. We're getting into a phase of a console generation, where all the consoles start to be less likely to get new releases, but Motorfest is resisting that change. Therefore, the game has been announced for PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, and Xbox One, alongside PC, making for a pretty complete slate of hardware on which you could play it. Motorfest is set on an island that's apparently inspired heavily by the real-life Hawaiian island of Oahu. Yeah, that. Home to Honolulu. Yeah. It's not officially that island though, so expect some new place names and freedom for the developers to make up locations. This should see the game offer up a mixture of terrain, as its teaser trailer hints, including tarmac and dirt driving. It'll be interesting to see if it's a smaller map than the Crew 2's huge American sprawl, or whether it'll just be denser with roots and detail. From the looks of it, we're in for another open world driving extravaganza with Motorfest, this time with a festival themed twist. There are only a few cars in the glimpses we've seen so far, but it's enough to showcase the fact that we'll be driving both modern and classic vehicles. However, after this introduction with the Crew 2, there's nothing to suggest that we'll be getting the option of taking on boats and planes again. Welcome to Squidward's Tiki Land. Wait, I think I copy and pasted the wrong thing. Those two vehicle types haven't been mentioned yet, so it's a safe bet that we're going back to the central point by getting a car-only game in the form of Motorfest. More widely, expect to be able to roam around the map of varied geographical areas, taking on race events and time trials to build both your reputation and your car collection. Classic stuff, basically. Alright, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe so I can get my dog back. Bye.